In this lesson, we'll learn how to record and edit keyframes on Cinema 4D's Power Slider. Let's hit play to see the animation. See our ship descends and comes to a stop. Let's see if we wanted to have the ship fall faster. To do so, I'll first go ahead and select the object that we would like to animate. At that point, we can go to the frame that we'd like to edit. From there, it's just a matter of moving our ship. Just press the E key to go to our Move tool. I'll bring this down in the Y axis. Now we'll need to record this new position. So from there, let's bring our attention to our Record panel. See, we don't want to set keys on anything but our position. Setting keys on anything else would really lead to a clutter in our animation that we'd have to go back later and clean up. So to avoid all of that and animate with cleaner practices, what we can do is just uncheck scale, rotation, and also parameters, leaving only our position to record. Now we're ready to go ahead and actually store the keyframe or record it. Let's go ahead and click on the key button. You can see the animation path has updated. If we were to hit play, you can see the change in the animation. Great. So that's one way we can record animation. If we would ever like to remove that keyframe, it's just a matter of selecting it on the power slider and pressing the delete key. I'm going to go ahead and press Control Z to undo that. Let me go ahead and show you another way you can record and remove keyframes, this time from the attribute editor. With the object selected, I'll go to Mode and choose Object. From there, let's go to the Coordinates tab. So this is basically the transform data of this object. The red circles are parameters that have animation but don't have any keyframes on the current frame. So the dots, these are essentially keyframes on the frame we're currently on. If we wanted to, let's say, update the animation, let's say we wanted to raise the ship a little bit higher, I'll go to the position Y parameter and put in a value of 100. At that point, we can now control click on the parameter to store the key and update the position. Notice the path has been updated. If we were to go ahead and play the animation, you can see the update and the ship's movement. Great. If we wanted to remove that key, let's say if we didn't quite like what we have, we just wanted to see how the animation looked without a key being there, it's just a matter of shift clicking the parameter. If we want to remove animation entirely from the parameter, we'd hold down Control shift and then click. You could see the drastic change in our animation path and the animation overall, letting us know that all right, this is maybe a change we don't want, but that's how you would, again, go about by removing animation by simply, again, Control clicking that parameter. I'll undo. Head over back to frame 16 and lower the ship. I'll go back to the position Y parameter and put in a value of negative 11 and control click. Now apart from that, we can drag keys around on the power slider to change the timing. Let's say if we wanted to take the key on round 46, it's actually 45.6. Let's say if we wanted to go ahead and drag that to a different frame, let's say 56. I'll just go ahead and drag that over. And now what happens is the timing of the ship coming to a stop has slowed. Great. Now apart from that, we can also copy and paste our keys. So if we wanted to, let's say, take the key on frame 56 and copy that, and simply right click, choose copy or use the hotkey control C. And then what I'll do is speed up the stop by going to frame 50, right clicking and choosing paste. So as we hit play, here's what we end up with. You can see as the animation stops, there's a little bit of an overshoot and we'll get to that when we discuss our F curves. All right, but chances are we probably don't want this key 
on frame 50 so I'll just right click and choose delete okay great now another cool feature when animating in Cinema 4D is the fact that it kind of breaks the rules when it comes to animating in a 3D application meaning in most applications you'd want to move to the frame that you would like to animate on move the object and then save the key well in Cinema 4D that doesn't necessarily have to be the case let's say if we were on frame 14 and we thought oh this would be great to let's say move the ship up but I don't want it to happen on frame 14 instead I want that to happen on frame 64 well it's just a matter of again moving the object and then from there we can control click on the frame we like to save the key notice the key has been stored and now as we hit play watch what happens when we get to 40 or 64 it's almost as if the ship is pulled back by some force which is really cool so these are just a few ways we can record and edit keyframes on the power slider in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and discuss the animation path. That's this path that we see within the scene. We'll learn how to edit that for quickly updating our animations. And we'll also take a look at setting our playback rate, just so that we can understand the interpolation that we have by default in Cinema 4D.